Every day, the symptoms of COVID and the potential complications of COVID, those lists seem to get larger and larger. What have we known about COVID? Well, the symptoms we've been talking about for months are things like shortness of breath, fever, uh, chills, fatigue, muscle aches or body aches, a uh, new loss of taste or smell, um, sometimes nausea or vomiting or diarrhea. Um, there are other symptoms as well, but those are some of the main symptoms we've often talked about. But then we started learning that there can be complications, that things can kind of continue and steamroll. Some patients have had strokes. Some patients have had uh, blood clots in uh, different organs as well as blood vessels. Um, we have the multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. There are so many other things that we have started to see as a result of COVID. And now we're getting information about athletes. Um, Penn State's director of athletic medicine uh, made a statement about the link of COVID and uh, a heart condition that he's been noticing in some of his athletes. He said in a recent meeting um, that cardiac MRI scans reveal that approximately a third of Big Ten athletes uh, who tested positive for COVID uh, appeared to have myocarditis, which is an inflammation of the heart muscle. Uh, and by the way, this could be not only dangerous, but could be deadly for some people. Now we're talking about myocarditis again, which means inflammation of the heart muscle. Now, honestly, there are more questions than we have answers with COVID. We have always known this, which is why it's been so frustrating. I understand this, but this is the thing, you know, myocarditis could affect people in many different ways. And by the way, he goes on to say uh, in this particular article, and there are articles all over the web, so take a look, um, that they found this um, symptom of myocarditis in, in athletes, some who had symptoms, but some who didn't even have symptoms of COVID. So some of them were asymptomatic and still had signs of this uh, myocarditis or inflammation of the heart heart muscle. Uh, but this is the thing. We don't necessarily know how athletes are going to be affected down the line. What if it affects their functional status, meaning their ability to play their sport, to exercise, uh, to, to do things, uh, which by the way, we would worry about with anyone, athlete or not. The idea is this is a real concern. And it's one of the things about COVID that scared me all along. I know there are a lot of people out there that say, don't wear masks, masks are bad. You know, look, I've, I've talked plenty about my feelings of masks. You know that I believe firmly in masks. But there are also a group of people who think, well, you know what? It's not a big deal. If I get COVID, uh, I'll, I'll, it'll be a little cold. Uh, maybe I'm young and healthy. I'll get over it. But the problem is not everyone gets over it. Not everyone comes out of it without any sequela. Some people like young, healthy athletes are getting inflammation of the heart muscles as a result of COVID infection. We don't exactly know what this means for them down the line or for other people who are in the situation, right? We don't know all the people who are getting this inflammation of the heart muscle. Very likely it's not just athletes. These are just the ones that we've noted it in, in particular. Um, but it, it raises a lot of questions and it also spells out the fact that there's so much we don't know. And because we don't know what all of this is going to mean for us six months, a year, five years down the line, 10 years down the line, it means we have to stay safe means we have to and should wear our masks. We should social distance. Uh, we should stay, uh, you know, six feet and, and further away from each other, wash our hands and do all the things that we know we need to do. For someone, for anyone to say that wearing masks is a bad idea and that they do not help, or in fact that they hurt or that social distancing is inconsequential or that this virus is a hoax, anyone who says any of those things are sadly not only misguided, but they're short-sighted because we are seeing over and over again that this virus is doing more than we ever imagined. And we hope that we'll all end up fine in the end. We'll, we hope that it's not going to be too big of a deal, but we don't know. Guys, uh, please stay safe. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. Please uh, share this video with other people. Um, and if you're interested in daily health videos, I do those. Uh, don't forget to like and follow my page. Oh, and those of you who send stars, I answer your questions first, guys. I'll talk to you soon.